Hello, it's my yard here, and we're doing a little let's play of SmackDown vs. War 2010. It's Jay Lethal vs. some random original great wrestler made by Explicit. Now, my opponent is actually a fair play, he's a very good player. He chooses the style of mm, fair, fun, competitive. Like, he'll go for the win, but he'll do it fairly, and he'll do it realistically. Here we go, the Irish whip counters. Inverted atomic drop there, and then he'll maybe do leg kick combination moves. I think there's no such thing as SmackDown, unfortunately. But it's those sort of things. You taught him, bastard. Now, this match is quite long. Mainly because we go for the five rules of playing SmackDown online. You must win on the finisher, or knockout, right? The KO is an on. Uh, no on block rolls, glitches, yada yada. I've explained it before. The reason why I'm putting these videos up is as a little prelude to 2011 and for the other shows lined up, like I have Spartan Warrior, Last Man Standing, or Machinima. Yes, Machinima. Yes. The other shows will be eventually up on that too. Oberdome will be on Halo Reach. will be very soon on Halo Reach. I'm going to make games on that as soon as the game's out. Thank God, I'm going to hit that. Uh, Jay Lethal, which is me, is getting a battering. Uh, I like using TNA guys, great wrestlers. I just like using wrestlers in general that are real. I don't really use the WD guys mainly because who gives a shit about them? Yeah, I want to play as Jesse, no. Or Slam Master J or whatever his name was. It was uh, TNA wrestlers or ROH or even Pro Wrestling Noah, GPW and all that. They've got far better movesets. And the realisticness of this is, it took me ages to find this Jay Lethal to get the current attire. But it's, it's a beautiful attire. That's one poem I found out online. Uh, the paint tool, which you can see on Jay Lethal's thing, it doesn't always work. So sometimes he just has normal tr uh, trunks. That's probably mainly because I'm on a wireless connection. Oh, Hans Brain, back elbow, missed. Enzigiri, Game and Giri. Cross body, missed. You'll see a lot of combination shots on me. I'll try and keep up when I'm looking at the screen. Uh, oh, we've got, oh, an Irish trip again. Oh, my legs hurt. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, 2011 now. Let's speak about that. You've seen, you probably have seen the gameplay videos of it. With the destructible the weapons, and tables and ladders and all that. It's a nice feature. It's about time they had it. Uh... What I'm most looking forward to it though is the actual being able to choose the direction of where your move is going. Now obviously we have only seen this in TLC matches, so whether or not you can make your uh, direction on a move in normal matches is beyond me, but I reckon so. They've got moves there like the Explorer Suplex in German, which you see them moving about and have uh, last ride with a big delay so you can get the right angle on it. Uh, what else is there from what I saw? I hope it's six players there. online. I bet you it's only four again. Okay. We want Elimination Chamber played online. It's it's a fun mode to play offline. Just to have the whole war game style feel to it. Even if it's He's three on three. Trouble. Yeah, war games. You do know that. There's still cage, two teams. Or do you prefer to call it Lethal Lockdown now? Uh, but Elimination Chamber was good for 3 on 3 matches. Even better when it was 6 Elimination, but. Royal Rumble mode last year, well, in this 2010 version, it was kind of limiting. The fact is. It didn't really matter about doing any damage. It was just who was the first person that I wish whipped them into the corner or into the ropes. It was. There was no skill involved. And what I did like about it though is if you got enough finishes you could eliminate two people at once if they were trying to eliminate you. Which I always thought was a nice handy thing. And I should have recorded a video of me doing that once because it's bloody funny. Uh, what? Oh, nice Mexican surfboard. Romero special. We haven't took many da much damage on one another. It's four minutes in. Oh, Larry Ector! In Japan, that would be a cover one and a kick out one. Although, if like with me, um, X always makes people kick out at two or long two counts if they can't get to the bar in time. Uh, one feature that I use is 
because there's bottom bashers on the game, and I think if you're gonna, just going to bottom bash the whole time, you're not very good at the game to kick out of moves and pins and all that. So what I do is, if I get hit by a finisher or even a signature, um, I only hold down the A button and get the time invite to hit the bar. I think that's a more skillful way, even though there is lag and there's certain issues with it online. It, it takes luck and it's, it's a real heartfelt moment when for the opponents seeing if you can kick out or not. And when you kick out, they're, they, they're gobsmacked really. I can do it most of the time, but it depends on the server and connection because the timing does fluctuate. Uh, I don't know if this game we had a connection issue or not. Like sometimes you get connection interrupted, and that's sometimes normal when you have wireless connections. But nice sunset flip by Jay. Kick to the gut. I do kick to the gut a lot. That's one of my pet peeves. I like to try and reduce it. But oh, kick to the leg, back flipper, and I re that's still an unblockable in my opinion. I don't see anyone counter that. So what I do, because this isn't my great wrestler, and I can't change the move set. I automatically bounce off the ropes as soon as that move hits. Oh, my leggy again. Wasting too much stamina. That's another issue I think we need to change. Oh, I missed it. Uh, where was it? Um, the stamina. It's too biased towards the freshman. I think it should be just like a, a fuel gauge. If you run out of stamina... Uh, well, just like the, a few years ago, where if you kept doing move after move, running after running, you run out of gas. And it's not. There's this only gas. really happens in this game if you bounce off the ropes. It doesn't happen normally otherwise. Because you're normally not it's moving possible. long distances. It can happen when you're outside the ring on the entrance way, but. Or if you're doing an ultimate control move like the Power Driver or the uh, Oklahoma Slam moves. But it doesn't happen over any other way, and it's quite annoying. I think it should be that if you're taking the pummel, you don't lose stamina, but the guy who's fresh keeps here. pounding you does. To stop him from doing the same moves again and again, to take his time, be manipulative and seductive, not seductive, that's really the wrong word, the uh, technician, cerebral assassin like. Because it will stop people constantly goring and spewing and doing headbutts. Because you should get a penalty if you spam the same move. And Smackdown games have never really been like that. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, Heroes Del Ring, AEA Lucha Libre. But it's not coming out in the UK or Europe, to my knowledge. Uh, I've been trying to get. I'm trying to contact Konami actually to find out, but no, it seems to be only in North America. I haven't done any response otherwise. But that's not out till October. Uh, I was going to try and get it off of Play Asia, pre order it, but they're not taking any orders from that because Konami are fuckers. Uh, it should be region free because it is a Konami game, but army like to be assholes, to be honest. They don't like people importing games, even though it's not even re being released here. So he thinks I'm going to have to nab it off eBay somehow. Enzigiri? Gaming Giri. People call it Springboard Enzigiri because Ooh, Tom Morrison does it, but it's, it's a Gaming Giri, pretty much. You're hitting them face Reversal. first, in, not to the back of the head. Uh, so, normally an Enzigiri is to the back of the head. Call it a back brain in Sugiri. Fujiwara Alma, Yugodami. Or is it a Wagatami? I get, I get the Japanese name mixed up sometimes. Is it, Wagatami is either that, the Fujiwara Alma, and I think Jukatami is the cross arm wow. like Could be wrong though. Oh, nice nice taunt by Jay Lethal. Now, Jay Lethal's main finish now is that back suplex net breaker, but on 2010, you can't have that as a finisher or even a signature. So it's stuck into a back grapple. And that is so bloody stupid. There's a lot of moves in 2010 which should have easily been finishers. Oh, that's a nice counter by me. It's hard to counter the spring ball moves, especially something like that. So to actually dodge it, it's a great combo breaker. Snap his leg in. Go on, Lethal. Snap his leg in. Chop block. Yeah, snap it. I think by the end of this match, his leg was actually momentarily fucked. Uh, I don't think we see him fall down at any time because he saved himself from running. 
10 minutes in, and that's still another 7 minutes, something like that. Can't really tell on this timer. Ran out of gas there, there's the stamina in effect. Bit too much. X comes in. Irish whip, no, reversal. Oh, wheel kick. Cop kick. Like Lariat, whatever you want to call it. Strong grapple. I worked his leg, he wants to work my arm. I actually don't think he has an arm submission finisher. That's from what, what I can remember. But no one works the arm, everyone works the leg. It's quite... This, the arm moves in the game are actually the worst. They do no, so little damage. Kind of like it's Guys unbelievable to be honest. Opponent. And there's no real arm submissions as such. There is the cross arm breaker, but it's from the standing grapple. And any other arm damage moves. Nice Braden Buster. One, two, here to see. Oh, I kicked that out actually. He would have stopped it pretty much the same time. That's a perfect timing. The ref gets in the way a lot in this game. Yeah, that's uh, you'll probably see it in another game soon enough. Uh, triple threat maybe. When that happens. I try not to, especially against X or someone like that, uh, someone I know who's a real good player and a real fair player. If you have the springboard, not the springboard every time he whips you into the corner. Because you want to actually do the corner moves and turn buckle moves and all that. It's a bit hard to do it. Oh, perfect drop kick. Shame it wasn't AJ Dan. Springing off the wall. Oh, single leg drop kick. Missed it. Kick oh, to gut again. I should really have done that, but and maintain control. Win. Taunting. He's gaining the momentum. Drop Sometimes kick into the corner. And oh, a bit low. That's Tommy Dreamer to low blow. Right now. Well, no. Tommy Dreamer low blow is just like Ric Flair's grabbing the nuts. Oh, the axe handle. Kind of surprised to see oh, he's been like macho man. Macho man. Knee break. Oh, he's going to be Ric Flair now, is he? Ooh. Yeah. Drop kick. Whoa. X sometimes actually hit. automatically picks you up as soon as you get hit by a drop kick. It is unblockable. I don't know if he realises that. It is unblockable, but it's not really... As long as you're not doing a proper grapple, I think it's okay to drag them up doing that. Uh... Other unblockables in the game, which I never mentioned, was if you can reverse an Irish whip and then use your oh god, what a big boot! Uh, if you do an Irish whip and they reverse on the Irish whip, I'm just checking if the KO was on by the way. There, sometimes I forget he doesn't. He sometimes puts KO on, sometimes he doesn't. Uh, if you have the the Oh, I've forgotten the proper name to it. If you can have the rebound attacks off the Irish whip and he will. Reverse an Irish whip. Uh, using one of those rebounds attack is unblockable. I never, ever, ever seen anyone counter the reversal of it. Uh, another one is the stomp glitching. People don't believe me, but if you hit two ground grapples and then stomp, uh, immediately run at them, it is unblockable. I've never seen anyone really counter it. If you get the time right, it is unblockable every time. Oh, flapper chat. SDF. That's a great combo. No he he probably wouldn't let no it go way. if I actually got to the end. It's because it's a great combo move. Normal submissions, you can normally not get a normal sub on it. Send because it, the thumbstick's just too... Ow. Clash of the head. I'm going for the stun gun again. 14 minutes in. These matches are long. Even tag matches. Me, X, and... It's a blood shot. Or even gun ravens and people like that. Uh, they can last 20 30 minutes easily and you don't feel the time go past. It doesn't run down slow. Here we go, double. Do <laughs> he's standing, but he's Thinking on the mines there. Shink it, shink it, and then the savat. Jumping savata. Who's going to win this match, shall we? Uh, 2011, anyway. Let's sum it up. It's going to be good, probably. Hopefully, these strong grapples are supposedly going to be a lot easier to do. Triangle choke there. More of a touch of a button. Hopefully, that's the case and that has not you've got countered twice. Uh, it's able to be countered twice before you can even hit it. It's quite annoying. Uh, reverse on the strong grapple again. Yugatami. 
plus on big app. Checking for the submission. Seeing the That's the problem with plus on big move. It's just way too, way, way, way too much of a movement. You need to get exactly onto it. Oh, right to the back. Drop kick. You see that in real life, if you go forwards, not backwards from it. Oh no. Woo! Uh oh. That's not good. No, no, no. Elbow. Arm breaker. Talk about Sometimes it's hard to tell if an arm breaker is the bottom. Uh, Sambo suplex isn't a finisher either. That's annoying. Uh, back drop drivers, no finishers or signatures. It's bad. Face kick and a spin kick. Uh -oh. Man, lethal, run. Run, lethal. Lethal, run. Lethal, run. 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 Uh oh. Neck breaker off the top. Devon, get the tables. This could be bad. Kind of like, hey, that's like that's this. not nice. Tower bomb. AJ Styles has used that as a finisher. Two. Two. Just a bit short on that, but it was a good game. 16 minutes of playing and pressure. Strider wins. Realistic moveset as well. Uh, another match coming up soon, guys. See you then.